Hey, what's up you guys, Nick Swinski here. Welcome to a game called The Outer Worlds. Now, I imagine you guys have been watching this, well, watching these videos of this game for ages, like other people playing them and whatnot. I have not seen anything on this game, so I'm going to jump in. Everything about it will be brand new to me. So, I do apologize if I am terribly bad at the game. Let's turn up the brightness pretty high so that way everybody can see what is happening. There we are. If that is too bright, we'll turn it down later, which I think I think it might be too bright already, so um, let's turn it down to 85. All right. Uh, since we're new to this, let's go ahead and just pick story. We're obviously going to need subtitles. Turn the back subtitles. Sure. Uh, I think the texts are fine like that. All right, let's begin. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> Top secret. 2320, holy shit. Are we playing this, this guy? Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. It looks like we are. Oh, we got the two traits and whatnot. Uh, I honestly don't know. I guess good. High blood pressure. Could keep you from blacking out, at least. Oh, yeah, true. Uh, does it tell us how many points we have? Or do we just get to choose? Oh, wait, no, it's at the top. Uh, strength will be good. High strength. Because why not? Um, range. A gunslinger. Oh, they're going to tell stories about you from here to Hephaestus. Okay, cool. Um, let's choose stealth. You had a hand in everyone's pocket. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Let's see. Farmer. <laughs> safety. <laughs> I don't know why I said safety. Um. I guess construction. I hear Edgewater needs an electrician. How many can we choose? Maybe now we're gonna do something about this uh, lump in my neck. <laughs> now we get to choose a character. Oh no! <laughs> nah, let's try to make a serious character. Uh, sure. I don't fucking know. Oh. 
You're so much more than your designated profession. Um, I'll try to make this character look like my typical character I make in every game because I usually say why not. I don't care. <laughs> we could be a guy from 1786. I don't know why that year, but... Uh, yeah, sure. I don't know. Uh, same name as all my other characters. Literally just my YouTube name. Because I'm not creative. I kind of want to make a stupid character. But I do want to be serious about it too. Considering I have not played this game before. Alright. Yes. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. And just who the feck are you? Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies, saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Um... Okay. Well then, <laughs> great start. So, who's the bad guys in all this? I'm confused. Because that guy is wanted, but I guess saved us? I don't know. This is all confusing. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Yeah. Oh, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. I feel like an ODST. He's your, uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. 
I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm all the colonists are counting on you. Nope, we crash landing just like in the DST. <laughs> Based on you, be, it, it'd be funny if all of a sudden it just popped up the rookie. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in oh. Law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Sorry, dude. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. I'm not too big of a fan of the HUD, but... It's the HUD. What are you gonna do? Oh, hello, weird one. Alright. Oh, there's a spring function. What happens if I press the back button? Oh, it's an inventory system to the game. It's one of those. Okay. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, are those things, are the oh, I don't think those things are friendly. Yeah, I don't think they are. Ooh. Don't see me, bitch. You don't see me. Bitch. What does this say? Oh, I can't pick it up. Oh. You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Ow. And who are you? you? Come here. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. Huh? Yeah, sure. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics. With guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Nah. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, I <laughs> nailed it that time. What? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. A uh, pretty place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by our provisioners for a can of our famous salt tuna. All right, I'm going away. Now, this is a weird looking pistol. Huh. Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in 
Must be one of them. Uh... There we go. I don't know if, it, if any of that's good, but I'll take it. Oh, it's X. There we go. Actually, that might be good. You guys are probably yelling at me about something. <laughs> like, take this, take that. I have no idea what I'm supposed to take. If this were a live stream, I'd be able to tell you, but... For some reason, Elgato won't let me live stream. Oh, that one has a, a rifle. Nice ship. Can I take that rifle off? No. Damn it. I see more people. And when there's more people, that means more friends. Hello there. Kill them. Oh, where are they? There we go. I not mean to do that. What was if I... Okay, typical pause menu. Is there a map? Ah, here we go. You know, for it being in 2320, the, the map doesn't look that great. I don't know. I'm... I, apparently, I'm picky. <laughs> Anyway, on to the ship. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. All right, cool. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. Jeez, motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't no Marauder. Okay. But I ain't no marauder. Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. <laughs> Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against Ooh. unwanted solicitors. Oh, that's Please great. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. That's great. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengage the airlocks. Prepare to eject all born parties in five, four, three, two, one. You are still here. 
My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. No. Uh -huh. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I'm I sorry, am programmed yeah. to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? No, of course. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers mm. of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Um, can I let her know that I'm not that guy? I didn't want to be harsh and just say that he's just dead. Like, the settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend. Oh, sorry. Nice break from a serious moment there. Nice break from a serious moment the there. Administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Can I use more? But I'm not Alex. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. <laughs> what can I do for you, Captain? Goodbye. Okay, I can't do any conversations. And just I'll be you. with you, friend. I'm Ernie from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Now, it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but it seems to me they're all dead. Mind telling me what happened here? Um. Altercation, you say? Yeah, shame as that goes. Spacer's Choice policy strictly prohibits dying during work hours. Guess I'd better get to cleaning up. Can't just leave company property scattered about, bleeding out on the dirt. Then who died? Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah, well, we, uh... We do need all the hands we got, what with folks in Edgewater dropping off like sissy pig tumors. Well, it's competition, though, come for hunting time. <laughs> you don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. The constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. Oh, and, uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. <laughs> I'll be on my way. Weirdo. Alright, so far, the game ain't that bad, honestly. I thought it was going to be a little bit worse. I didn't have high expectations playing this. Okay, that's cool looking. Whoa. I didn't notice that. That's actually really cool as well. I love stuff that has to do with space, mainly. Though when it comes to games, I usually play GTA and Call of Duty and whatnot. 
Did you kill these poor people? Residents. You bastard! Oh, my aim is garbage. Aim is potato. We got him in the end, though. Thank you for the ammo, and I'll be on my way. Hello there. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Yeah, I, I kind of get that. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. <laughs> yeah. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Alright, I'll be on my way. Huh? What? I wasn't dozing off. Yeah, probably best if you don't. I could really go for some saltiness. How about steak? Have these people ever heard of a steak before? Well, they probably don't have that all the way out here in space, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> this should be actually obvious. More loading screens! Loading screen for days. There we go. Oh, this town looks pretty cool. Can't get over that in the sky. That looks pretty fucking cool. Satina. No one's here. I don't care. <laughs> nope. Monkey Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson? I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Hope. Seems we've got a guest. Yes. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Shirt, pants, work boots, company approved colors, the, uh, honorable apparel of a loyal worker? Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. 
only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. What a surprise, I never would have guessed. I am not trying to pull one over on you, friend. You were bound to run into them sooner or later. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. All right. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, right. if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. All right. I don't like this guy. All right. Holograms and shit. Alright. You got ourselves a companion. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Uh, tomorrow there will be a Need for Speed Rivals video. And well, I hate that game. It it gets boring. That's all I can say. But yeah. All I can say for this game, though, is that so far from the little bit I've played, it's pretty decent, I will say. Isn't exactly what I expected, but it's good. But yeah, with that being said, I'm going to be doing No Man's Sky next, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.